Well, you will never, never believe what Tim Becker uncovers in his Life at Large segment today. And uh, his discovery today even makes a great holiday gift idea, sunglasses made of wood. Now, apparently it all started when a local man carved a pair of glasses from an old branch. Probably would have come down this winter. Nature never dies, just evolves. And so, in an old fallen log... People want something unique. They want something that other people can't have or don't have. ...lies a blank canvas hungry for an artist. You honestly have wearable art. You know, each piece is unique. An experiment ripe for harvest. Experiment with nature, I mean, it, it really, to us, is, is what we do. It's where Schwid came from. It was an experiment with wood, with a tree branch. This is the site and the sound of innovation and creation. This is East Indian Rosewood and this is also East Indian Rosewood. So sometimes it's very orange and yellow and very colorful and sometimes it's very dark. A place where wood in the hand becomes fashion for the face. We're the original wooden uh, sunglass and we've definitely set that fashion trend. Where high style handcrafted sunglasses There's a lot of sweat and labor that goes into each pair of these things every single day. Are fussed over, finessed, and fashioned from forests the world over. Each pair of sunglasses consists of about four of these plies. Each pair, in its own way, is a personal Picasso. Our customer base tends to be someone who wants to have their own self-expression, you know, and this allows them to do that. We're not trying to just sell as many of these as possible. You know, we would care more about the product and, and telling the story of the product and the people behind it. People like Schwood founder and designer Eric Singer. Why would you want to put a plastic that has no resemblance to life so close on your skin, you know, on your face? They fit pretty effortlessly on your face. Yeah. Open this up and we had sunglasses in here. Immersed in a world of wood his entire life, his imagination sparked by a classic children's book, Eric grabbed some old tools his father had passed on to him to battle off boredom one day after he graduated from Canby High School. I made this really bulky pair, and my friends were just tripping out. And I was like, oh, you gotta make me a pair, you gotta make me a pair. So that kind of fueled the fire. He sold them for 20 bucks, then 50 bucks. I had nothing to lose. I mean, at a point, I was living out of my car, and I had my wood shop in the back of my car. And the rest as they say, is history. One pair of sunglasses will travel through at least 25 to 30 hands any day of the week, you know, passing through its production line. Geared up with high-tech laser technology, they carve out around 700 pairs a week now, and yet no two are ever alike. Every style is peppered with Oregon flavor. There's the Ashland, the Govey for government camp, the can be. The Oswald, uh, Oswald State Park on the coast. Uh, where these are made, we're proud of Oregon. From a tree through their hands. We bring in lumber and we ship out sunglasses. And onto your face. If you picture a pair of wooden sunglasses on your face, that's going to be the drawing point. So anybody that wants to look unique or different, that's it. That's it. Shades from wood. Schwood, an Oregon original. Reporting for you, Tim Becker, Coin Local 6. Make a really good Christmas present, actually. Absolutely. And you can find them online. Hope I can say this right. Schwoodshop.com. Well done. Schwoodshop. Schwood oh, man, that's, yeah. Okay. <laughs>